Hello everyone, this is part 2 about the program we, we make on Java using speech recognition. So what I want you to do is go on settings in I'm using Windows 10 if you are using other operating systems like uh, Linux or Mac OS and things like that you have to find similar settings on them so on Windows I'm going to sounds on recording and I'm using headphones I want the headphones to be the default device we need that for the for our program set as default device click OK so now let's run our program and I will say numbers from 1 to 9 OK, I can start to speak. I'm going to say random numbers. 3 2 4 So results Minus Minus Division Division Plus Multiply Multiply four three one. Okay, so you can see sometimes it is accurate, sometimes it is not. It is based on how I say some words. For example, if I say multiply or multiply, it will recognize it or not. So, how I'm doing this now? how it recognizes what I'm saying. Let's go on our main class. First of all, I'm using a configuration and in the configuration I am setting the acoustic model path, the dictionary path. Let's go here on the website. For the most of the speech recognition jobs, we need to only set up four attributes the acoustic model the dictionary a grammar or a default language model which means uh, german or usa language or greek or italian you know and uh, the source of speech which in uh, our tutorial is our voice we can use and uh, a file like a wave file but in this tutorial we are using our voice so i'm setting here the acoustic model path which is uh, you can see it on fix for data it's uh, in english us we are setting our dictionary path and uh, we are setting uh, and a grammar path so the grammar it is a file you can see it here and you can see that it has its own syntax and uh, I have defined to recognize numbers from 1 to 10 it can be 1 or 2 or 3 4 or something until 10 it can be an action like plus minus multiply or division and uh, we want in the end the calculator to find the result so we can say so result that's the grammar and it is very simple so let's go on the main class again here we have set the grammar to be this okay and uh, then we are starting a live speech recognizer be careful here when we are starting uh, the recognizer we want an external thread that's why I'm using here a thread different from the main thread of the application cause if I didn't uh, do that the application will hang and it will not respond we need an external thread for that so here on the thread I'm uh, taking the result from the recognizer if the result uh, is not null um, I'm waiting uh, until I get uh, something. I'm getting the hypothesis. You know, it has an other uh, other methods here to use, but I'm using get hypothesis. And I'm printing the result. Uh, for example, you said result as you 
have seen before. If I can't get a result, I'm just printing. I can understand what you said. Here I am uh, catching uh, if an exception occurs, and here I'm starting the thread to do that things. Also, I'm using one more thread, which you can be used, or if you want, you don't, but it is very useful. Uh, this thread is detecting if the microphone is available, and if it is not, it is printing microphone is not available. If it is, it is printing microphone is available. I have disabled this, to, so we don't have a lot of prints here, and we can see the results. So, so here I'm starting this thread. So basically, I'm needing, I'm using the main thread of the application and two external threads one for the speech recognition and one for the if the microphone or other resources are available that's the class i'm setting acoustic model path dictionary path a grammar path i'm using a live speech recognizer i'm starting it here here is the thread one thread two it is so simple. I will use it one more time. Let's see how it works now. One. Three. So results. Minus. Multiply. Ten. Division. Plus. So you can see right now that uh, it works better, and if it doesn't recognize what I'm saying, it is just printing, you know, unk. Or now I said 9, and it uh, found 9, if I, send, uh, if I said uh, that 9 in uh, the sentences I use. So thanks for watching everyone, and uh, in the next tutorial, tutorial 3, uh, we will see how we can uh, do the mathematical calculations and uh, it will be very soon. Thanks for watching and I see you all next time.